Hello friends, this video on friction part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, as I said that friction always opposes applied force. So that means whenever, I mean, when I say that friction is always trying to oppose motion, that means if you talk about any object, let us take the same example. So in this case, the direction of motion is this. So the ball is moving in this direction. Now what is the direction of applied force? So if you see here, we are applying a push. We are trying to push the ball in this direction. So this is the direction of applied force. We are applying force in this direction. And where is friction acting? So friction is acting in this direction. So this is the direction of friction. So friction is always opposite to applied force. That is one thing. And friction acts parallel to the contact surface. So if you see here, this is the surface. So let us assume that the ball is rolling on a table and this is the table. So this is the contact surface and the friction will always act in a direction parallel to the contact surface. So wherever you have the contact surface, friction will be parallel to that surface. So let me give you a few more examples to explain. So let us suppose that instead of a horizontal surface, you have a, a slanting surface like this. Let us suppose you have a slope like this and you have an object here and this object is sliding in this direction. So it is falling down the slope. So the object is moving in this direction. So what will be the direction of force of friction? So friction will be in the opposite direction of motion. That means this would be the direction of friction. Why this is the direction? Because friction, one thing is friction will be opposite to applied force. Second thing is friction has to be parallel to contact surface and this is the contact surface. So when this is your contact surface parallel to this, it will be this direction and it has to be opposite to that of the uh, applied force. So this would be the direction of friction. Similarly, if you are considering a vertical surface like this, so let us suppose this is some wall or something, and you have an object which is sliding down here. I mean, let us just assume that it is not a free fall. So in that case, since the object is moving in this direction, so the force of friction will be in this direction and the force of friction will be parallel to the contact surface. So here you can see this is the contact surface. So this is how you can determine the direction of frictional force. So these are the two points which you have to remember that it, it will always be in a direction opposite to the applied force and secondly it will always be parallel to the contact surface. So let us quickly look at few more examples illustrating the role of friction. Now as I said just now that if, if you consider a person who is running I mean, maybe uh, he could be a player, he could be an athlete, he could be somebody who is just jogging in the morning. So anybody who is running, do you think he or she would prefer a slippery surface? No, not really. They would prefer a rough surface because when you have a rough surface, the friction is more because the surface is rough. So the surface offers more frictional force and therefore it becomes easier to run on a rough surface. So your uh, tendency to fall down on a rough surface is lesser than the probability of falling down on a slippery surface. So here, if you look at this picture, it, it uh, depicts a slippery surface. Now. Uh, if you really want to experiment it, I would not ask you to fall down, but what you can try is maybe you just try walking on the floor at your home. So you will see that you're able to walk comfortably. Now what you do is you pour some water on the floor or you pour some oil on the floor or some powder on the floor and you will see that the floor tends to become more slippery and then when you walk on the same floor, you feel like your feet will sleep and you will fall down. So the, the chances of slipping increases when the friction is reduced. So in case of a slippery surface, the friction is less. Whereas in case of a rough surface, the friction is more and when friction is more, so it, it your uh, legs get a better grip and therefore it is easier to walk or easier to run. Similarly, when you consider your car, now it is completely under your control. 
what is under your control the movement of your car whenever you want you can stop the car whenever you want you can start the car you can increase the speed you can decrease the speed so everything is under your control but in all of these movements whether you are stopping your car whether you are uh, starting your car so everywhere friction is playing a role because had there been no friction in that case first of all the car would have not been moving on the road because again the same thing there is no friction so e either if it is moving it will move forever it will never stop and if it is at rest it will never start moving if there is no friction secondly it is not only the friction which is there between the uh, tires and the road surface so that is the that is not the only place where friction is playing a role even when your tires are moving so when the tire wheels are rotating so even inside there is friction between different parts of the wheel so that means also friction plays a very important role in machinery because inside the machine so if you look at the engine of your car if you get inside try to look inside the engine you will see that there are so many small small machinery parts where uh, there are so many motors which are running and all these machines are able to perform their job because of friction so friction plays a very important role in our day to day life so if, like when you look at the definition of friction it always talks about opposing motion opposing motion so people get uh, an impression that okay friction is something who always tries to oppose stuffs oppose movements so friction is not a nice thing but when you actually look at it friction is something which is extremely necessary as well so we will talk about the pros and cons of friction thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.